Hey everybody, so real quick for those who don't know about the Lionsgate portal, it's an astrological event that happens once a year, every year, and it opens up August 6th and closes on August 9th. The peak of it is August 8th, and it's at, oh, boy, butterfly, yes, I love you. And this is very, very significant because Sirius, the brightest star that we know about, even it's even brighter than our local sun, it's gonna be perfectly aligned with Orion's belt. And the Egyptians knew about this and the pyramids were deliberately constructed to align with these stars. And what's dope about it, about this year, is that not only Sirius, the brightest star that we know, is gonna be aligned with Orion's belt, the sun is in Leo and there's a new moon in Leo on August 8th. And for those who know anything about numbers, whether you know about numerology in the Bible or just in general, because that's a whole field of study, number eight is the number of abundance. And this astrological event is so significant because it marks not only this time of abundance and and um, new light coming in onto the planet and very strong light, by the way, for people to be transformed. It's also a time that marks exactly one week before the annual flooding of the Nile. If you read the Bible and, and read about Christ, Jesus Christ, because you know, Christ just means anointing to one and there's many. But if you read about Jesus's transfiguration, he is engulfed in this beautiful divine light and that's astrologically symbolic because if you go and research or look up the feast of transfiguration it's celebrated by churches all throughout the earth that marks the date of august 6th through august 8th you know and it's so beautiful to know now like how i study astrology and how the bible is astrological from the old testament to the new testament and it's actually really dope but i'm not going to talk about that right now anyway also you got to know how significant this time is on the planet especially because everything that is going on and it's a time for transformation and in the past the the occult powers have tried to deliberately like kind of i don't want to say shut the portal because they can't do that but they try to block the light by doing catastrophic events so for instance in 1945 the united states of america dropped the atomic bomb on hiroshima japan and killed so many people destroyed so many homes right and really messed up the land and so they they think that if enough people are able to focus on the darkness during this time of light then they are energetically blocking that beautiful light that divine light that godly light from entering into their bodies and transforming their cells and unlocking their dna so if you are interested in any of this i know that was a lot and i know some people um, are kind of closed-minded and that's okay but if you're open to learning about this i do have a video on youtube it's about eight minutes because you know number eight i love it uh, and I explain more about this and if you want to join me I will be doing a live Lionsgate activation music meditation those are the things I'm gonna be focusing on and yeah so join me for some oops there we go for some live sound healing and all good stuff all positive things yep all right <laughs> Oh, and look, I got a lion, a lion's gate portal tattoo. Just kidding. I've had this for a while. See ya.